Gagonk. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Okay, so you, you guys will just click. You're on here. Stay. Back. Just stay. They're here. They're here. Please stay. Just just stay. Fucking stay, guys. We're begging you to stay. Please stay. We will grow on you, I promise. Just one episode. Just give us give us like 30 minutes of your time. If you're not laughing your fucking ass off in the next, you know, five to seven business days, <laughs> then we guarantee you that you will laugh on the next episode. That's our guarantee. I, I was going to say, dude, I don't just put us on mute and go to a new tab. If that's <laughs> what you really want to do. Yeah. We don't even care. Here's some high level thoughts that uh, you can just run by us when you see us next. So that way we think you listen to it. We're going to talk about the election tomorrow. We're going to talk about, we're going to take a shot. You can laugh at how dumb we look when we take shots. You can laugh yep, at that. Yep. And, um, Luke's a fucking asshole because he didn't come to my party this weekend. So. <laughs> I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I'm sorry. No. I want, it on, I want it on air. I'm sorry. Luke's publicly apologizing uh, a second time. We actually did a rough draft of this episode, and I was just couldn't hide my, the resent on my face. We were and, screaming at each other. Yeah, so we restarted. I... I uh... I did feel bad. I felt bad that whole time. But then, like, Notre Dame would make a big play, and I'd forget. We were having fun. You're good. You sure? Yeah. We were playing bags and washers, and there's two puppies here. We played Uncle Jimmy's hat. You missed out, pal. God damn it. I don't want to say it was the best day of my life, but it might have been the best day of the year for me so far. <laughs> that's, well, that's believable with this year. This year's coming to an end. What a year, am I right? <laughs> That's also another like, God, I can't wait for 2020 end. Like somebody's going to, like God's going to snap his fingers and no, 2021 is going to be nice. People. We're not going anywhere. And that's how I start like, actually, no, at this point, if you start Google Hangout calls, like with, you know, for work, like with uh, customers and shit, if you start it small talking about the pandemic and how bad it is, and that just sucks. Everyone hates it. Everyone hates that. It's like, yeah, it's like the crazy weather out there now. That's right. The, it's like, fucking shut up. Yeah. yeah. I would rather sit in silence and then have somebody just say, okay, we're going to jump right in. Um, it looks like $40,000 this month. I would rather that than, oh, there's some rain coming this way toward the toward the eastern, uh, you know, eastern seaboard. Fucking, yeah, whatever. Whatever the weather talk is, you can keep it. Yeah, yeah. We have a team meeting once a week, and we get through all the bullshit, you know, all the work <laughs> stuff. And then our manager, he'll go, like, she'll go around and be like, she, like, wants to go around and have everybody then start, you know, talking about their week and their lives. Right, right. It's just all, you know, I've just been sitting here, can't go outside. <laughs> He's like, great. <laughs> it's almost like uh, they say, like a good lawyer doesn't ask you a question he doesn't already know the answer to. Right. A I good manager should not ask questions that are soft tosses for misery. It should not be like, hey, the, so how's your how's your mom's cancer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Having to talk about something that's horrible. Yeah, I just, I just, I'm, not, I'm just like, I'm, you know. I'm like, no, no new, no, no new, nothing new for me. I just want to get out of the fucking meeting as fast as possible. There's so, it's just so like, uh. or do you have, uh, do you have somebody on your team? Do you have teams? So like people that you immediately work with and like yeah. you have your manager, but it's your team. Yeah. Do you have someone on that team that like, you know, the meeting's about to end. But then your man manager says, does anyone have any questions? And they ask like a really hard question that extends the meeting like 15, 20 15 minutes. 15 more minutes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You always know when it's going to happen. There'll be times where I'm literally just like, I'm like this. I'm just like this. I'll just like look up and like people are engaged about something that I don't care about. And I'm just fucking... It's so stupid. I don't, are you guys still here? 
Stay. Please stay. Yep. Stay with us. Uh, we're just making small talk. That is us talking about small things. We but, really don't like that, but it gets better. All right. I'm about to present. Election podcast. Election podcast. It's no, no, tomorrow. Big day. Who's going to win? 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020. Who's going to win, Dave? You still haven't answered. I'll let you know tomorrow. Well, who do you think is going to win? Well, I don't know. The way that the Electoral College works, depending on who wins, they can just switch the numbers and turn it into whoever they want, Luke. So I don't fucking know who's going to yeah, win. This is a simulation. Your vote matters. I did get out and vote. Did you get out and vote? I voted like two weeks ago. All right, cool. I voted like 40 times, so beat that. Fuck yeah, dude. You made 40 different Gmails? I've got an echo coming through in, in your system. God damn it. How about now? Hello. Hi. It's, it's, uh, I can hear the echo. What did I do? Can we ever just get anything right? <laughs> Please stay. Please stay. One time my mom asked me when I was younger, she said, why can't you just be normal? <laughs> your mom said that to you? It was after I was doing some dumb shit. Yeah, but it was pretty fucked up. What'd you do? Probably just said something hilarious or did something. I'd <laughs> <laughs> probably be funny as fuck. Probably just being the funniest, dumb. dopest kid alive. I don't know. Yeah, dude. Exactly. All right. So let's jump into the slideshow here. We're back for another week. Uh, oh. We're not going to get upset. We're going to smile. I just. Uh oh. Walls off. <laughs> What? Look at the wall. What wall? Look at the, look at the <laughs> oh, I got no space back. I'm just cornered in this fucking corner. This is where I spend all my time. It's ridiculous. That's so funny. Yeah. My, my office upstairs, I got a swivel chair like that and just painted, you know, pretty much every room in the house. But I looked to my left one day and there's just black marks on the whole side of the <laughs> has been hitting. <laughs> Dude, that's what we do. We sell a product to wipe chair swivel swivel chair marks off your wall. You that's gotta be a thing. Well, I mean they got magic erasers, but they don't have COVID specific swivel chair eraser marks from your wall. We market it as a COVID product, yeah. It is. It is. That'd be nice. Is everybody with us still? They're still with us. Stay. Please stay. All right, as you can see, our traffic is through the roof. Uh, that's year to date. Let's uh, go back the last. Uh, Damn, that's pretty good. 300 people. 300 people in the last year have come to our site. Yep. That means 300 people were, were interested. You know, they're, they had some sort of like, I don't know if it was an accidental click or what, but they were on our <laughs> site. They were on but, our site. But like if I'm on my laptop, and then I go to interesting.com and then I do it for my phone. Is that two visitors? No. 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 It's gotta be, dude. No, that's a your it's tied to your IP address. So if you log in, if you watch it on your TV, your phone, your laptop, your tablet, all of that counts for the same view. So four of those are us. What are you because we've about? changed. Because you were we've had two different you were at. Oh yeah, so I was at my parents, and then you were at the apartment. Yeah, yeah. That's still like what, six hundred unique visitors. I'm no math magician, but I think you're right. They're, so, they're just so high. We're gonna go. This week we're gonna go optimism. Yes, we're coming into a new a new presidential four year span. We're gonna be optimistic. This is the election podcast. Who's going to win? This is, this is your number one source for election information. Did you change all my fucking hashtags? <laughs> yeah, because they were clearly biased. You clearly made them. It's a joke. <laughs> it's the great. It's been the most quotable thing for the last four years, dude. Do you want to get clicks or not? That is the you. You did the weather of creativity. Look, dude. Donnie T sells tickets. What do you want from me? I didn't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not necessarily a Donnie T guy, 
this is the election podcast, so we can talk about it. But dude, how about Joey B though? Look at my guy, Joey B, dude. Did you? Uh, I love, I love it, I love it, dude. This just, it's like, who's gonna win in a fight? Let put, put put politics aside. Who's gonna win in a fist fight? I think just I don't even want to see. But Donnie's all hocked up on Adderall and McChickens, dude. I think he would fucking. I think Donald Trump is like a strong wind gust away from falling over and never being able to stand up. He's got that huge ass, though, dude. He's he's grounded. He's a grounded old man. I don't want Donnie to win. I'd want to see Joe clock him in the face. Joe's got more heart. He's not, you know, he's like more genuine. He's yeah. like, that might matter in a fight. I'm thinking fist fight. I'm torn because obviously I'm biased because of my political affiliation. However, I'm trying to look at this just two 70 year old men fist fighting. It's tough. And I think, I think, but Biden's saving grace is he seems to me like he could punch hard as fuck. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's a tough guy. I mean, you look at like, he's probably lived a tougher life. You know, he's lost some kids. Donnie T's just been like a rich pampered bitch his whole life. Donnie T's main thing in the fight would just be his weight. Yeah, dude, that ass. He could just (laughs) like ass punches. I mean, regardless, what's the bigger point? Kamala would come in and blow all three of them out the water, dude. She'd just come in and start rocking heads. She'd take out. Well, she's got a ton of energy. Well, yeah, I mean, like she's what? One fourth of all of their ages. She's yeah, but yeah, she's tenacious. Well, she's gonna come out and win just be solely based on her like motor function ability. Like they <laughs> she, can, she can actually sidestep. Yeah, she can move and like maybe run around and above her above her above her fucking breastplate. I wish we had some sort of like horrible tradition that we had to continue following because it's just been so long. Like a presidential fist fight. Like that was part of the debate. That'd be so cool. But we I mean, it was. That's how, like, like, old, like, tribes. I bet, like, that's how people, didn't that's how they, like, won the tribe? They just, like, came and it's, like, duels. I bet that, I bet at some point that's how a leader's been chosen. Yeah, 100%, dude. No it, it, it would be dope if it was still that way. They each picked right. their best goose. They picked so, their best goose. Fist fight, I'm taking Joey B. Just... Just doing it just because he's already making a fist. That's fair. Yeah, Donnie looks like he's already, like, blocking there. And also, I don't know. Well, neither of them have probably ever been punched. Do you think either of them have ever been punched? I bet Joe's been punched. (laughs) That's what I mean, dude. The guy, he just seems like a grittier guy. Yeah. You very well could be correct, though. It's the election podcast. Please, everybody stay. Buy our shirts. A hundred percent of the proceeds will not go to the election. All right. None of it's none of it is political. Roll it. Here we go. Is it still echoing? Yeah. <laughs> so quiet. <laughs> is it quiet? <laughs> Was it super loud? That was dope. Barely could hear it. I loved it. Couldn't hear it. I could do it louder. I think I can. No, I think it's better. I think it's good that it was it was absolute oh, terror. Could you, could you really not hear it? Or could you... I, I, it was like drink to me. It was pretty bad. I haven't figured out a good way to get our theme song to play full blast over this. Yeah. That's okay. All right. Well. Everybody stay. We're gonna table it and we're gonna. Do a shot. My fucking thing is all fucked up now. What did I do? Dude, fuck. Oh, we're good. Never mind. We're good. We're back. Now it works. What's wrong? What are we doing? Oh, is it shot time? Yeah, it's shot time. Everybody stay. Pull out your shots. Let's all take a shot together. We're leaving the screen, but we're not leaving the down, okay? We're what? Oh, I, th- I didn't know that you were still in frame. Oh, man. Oh. Well, what do you got there? Oh, yeah. my God, you psycho. It's apple pie. Oh, did you make it into the shit? My brother made it. Yeah, it's... You know it's what's fun? So fucking good. Yeah, also, you might die. 
No joke, dude. There was a few dark weekends in college. Me and my buddy, like, <laughs> we literally had a bottle of Everclear. Oh, my God. And before we'd go out, you know, like, usually you're, like, drinking beer or you're taking shots or whatever. Like, no beer, no nothing else. We just, like, sat at our counter with, like, a shot glass and a bottle of Everclear. And we probably both, like, I, it was either, it's, it's you, like, it's usually, like, when we did it, it was, you take three or four shots. Every one of them is Satan just crawling down your throat. I don't know that I've ever just taken Everclear shots. Oh, it's fucked up. It's 190 proof. 95% yeah, it, alcohol. It stings for four minutes. And But what I'm saying is you take four of those, you're just good. Like, lights out. You're fucking, yeah, you're dangerous. Like, you're fucking, oh, my God. One time, did I ever tell you the time I lit my mouth on fire? Uh, nope. So I show up to a tailgate at, like, you know, 9 in the morning. Right. And the freshmen or I don't know, I think I'm like a soft, I think I'm a, soft, a junior or something. They show, they're they're there before me, and they're like, Gilbert, we're taking Statue of Liberties. I think they're punking me. I didn't see anybody else fucking do it. Fuckers. But I was like, what is that? And they go, okay, well, you, you take this Everclear. It might have been Everclear. I, th it, I think it was just vodka. I don't want to say it was Everclear. But you put the vodka in a shot glass like this. You dip your finger in the vodka. You light your finger on fire. Then you take the shot. <laughs> yeah. And then you swallow the shot if you're a fucking intelligent human being. Luke's not. Oh, then my God, dude. Oh. That's like you're building a bomb in your mouth. Yeah. But, but the this is why I don't think it was I don't I've never I've ne I don't think this is what it was. <laughs> oh anyway the flame's supposed to go out because you close your mouth around the finger no oxygen yeah, yeah obviously anyway I take the shot I I guess I didn't swallow the vodka the flame just lights all the vodka in my mouth <laughs> Dude. and like I I can see the flame like it's the, I can see the flame coming out of the mouth dude I'm like a fucking Charizard it's like <sighs> my buddy Eric comes over he grabs my face and he's like trying to smother me for like three seconds i was on fire and then i come out and like my eyebrows are all singed and like that was um, awesome oh. that was fucking awesome yeah everyone was, there was, there was cheering <laughs> you're just like i could have died oh my god though it's not a good it's not a good thing if you can see flames come out of your mouth let me tell you from experience it's pretty scary when like a gas tank blows up it's not because of the liquid gas. It's because of all the gaseous gas in the like container. Like that's what makes it blow up. Interesting. So the, fact, the fact that you fucking took a shot. Did you swallow the shot? I yeah, but there, I, that's why so I think there's fumes because... in your mouth, and then when you put it in your mouth, it it probably was trying to fucking blow up on you. Yeah, but I mean, it's so stupid. Even when you take a shot of vodka, there's still vodka all over your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm such, it's just so stupid. God. I'm like, what? Did anybody else get it? And they're like, yeah, Kenny just took one before you got in here. I was like, okay. Fine. No. Oh, yeah. I love that guy. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Anyway, dude. Everybody Kenny, stay. Dude. Everybody stand. Oh, here, here, dude. Check it, dude. You read that? Effing. Some effing cucumber. Cucumber VODs. It was left here. Now it's Luke's. All right. Well, I got a. I thought of this cheer late last night. Um, thought of it as you're looking it up, huh? Oh shit! You can. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Everybody yeah, stay. Take a shot with us. Don't yeah, be fucking the poser. For and the U is for United. The P is for perfection, and you know we are excited. The E is for energetic, and the R is for rad. So tell the other team. We're the best, and we're glad. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. What the fuck? You're going to drink all that? I tried to find a sh shot. What? That, that looks like four shots. It's 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 a mix. It's more I like... Yeah, it's more like a mixed drink at this point. Understandable. Cheers, buddy. I'm sorry I didn't show up on Saturday. That's all right. That's all right. Love you, too. Yeah, that stuff's good. Mm. Mm, that stuff's good. Uh, uh, How uh, was your stuff? 
<laughs> you know what I do? Keep laughing at you. Keep taking me out with chew in your mouth. Well, it's not real chew, but oh, oh. how's that one sitting? I tell, dude, I'm telling you, I can't do this sitting down. I think you've said that you you have said that before. I remember over at the apartment when we used to you know be able to be within six feet of people. Ugh. You you did complain about sitting down while taking a shot before. I don't think it works. Also, I've noticed now in my days, I'm I'm just so dumb. Like when I take the shot, you're supposed to take it, put shoot it to the back of your throat and swallow. Yep. I literally take it and I just like. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you puff it back into like the front of your mouth, you're fucked. And it sits there for like two to three seconds, and I'm like, well, and I gotta swallow it now. And yep. it just goes down like. It goes down like battery acid and yeah. lava and fucking broccoli all blended together. Oh god. Oh. Speaking of, now I can't eat broccoli without thinking about your fucking fun fact. So thanks for. Probably increasing my odds of getting cancer by like ninety percent. I know, dude. I don't eat any. I don't eat enough broccoli anymore. Now I'm the same way. I'm broccoli deficient, right? And if you don't know what that means, viewers, well, guess what? Fuck you. You didn't stay long enough to get learned because you're a bunch of fucking goldfish. Yep. You didn't you, uh, do you um do you take sups for your deficiencies? Like vitamins, vitamins, supplements, dude. I'm. I, you know, I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure the whole vitamin industry is bullshit. You could be right. Is it? I can't call it. <laughs> I can't call it either. Like, Why I'm just bullshit. I'm just pretty sure that, like, multiple, multiple sources have said that, like, there's no proof that these vitamins even do anything for people. Like, we're just taking a bunch of powdered sugar. What the fuck? I'm not kidding. Well, I don't even take vitamins. But, like, like even fish oil, all that shit? Well, fish oil, I think, has... There's probably got to be something to that, right? Like, got it. I mean, there's fish in it, so... But, like, we could just be being really... Like, okay, here's a side story for what I think might be happening. Everybody when stay. I was, when I was... Everybody stay. When I was a kid... I used to ration my Tic Tacs. <laughs> I took one Tic Tac a day and like it was medicine. Like, and so in my dumb little stupid kid head, I thought this is going to keep me healthy. Like I'm going to crack the code. I'm the one who knows that this is what keeps me healthy. So what I think is happening is vitamin companies are packing up Tic Tacs. And they're telling them to dumb kids and they're telling them. Okay. Hey, adults. Take one of these every day and you'll live forever. Oh my God. You, I, dude, how fucking, this is the exact same thing. When I was like seven, I used to like, <laughs> I used to sit and watch, I don't know, Cartoon Network. And I would, you know, you'd watch like three hours. And in that three hours, I would go through probably like 15 to 20 of those stick ices. Those pop oh, yeah. Pop ice. And when I go grab a new one, I'd be like, all right, grape. Grapes are healthy. Orange, orange juice, <laughs> vitamin C. Like, like watermelon, something has got watermelon's got a lot of water in it. Like I'd change the flavor and I'd I'd convince my little brain that I'd be like, this is good. There's gotta be some sort of juice in here. <laughs> yeah. And it's like you're, you're just a fuck. I just eat so many. Of them. <laughs> yeah. Even if there's a little bit of watermelon, at least I'm getting some of it. And but then like I'd start doing it with all sorts of shit. <laughs> yeah. Terrible shit for me. Chocolate, dairy, dairy, cat. There's milk. Milk's good for my bones. I'll eat six Kit Kats. No big deal. I think uh, I think grown ups still follow a lot of that rationale that you as a child followed. <laughs> oh yeah, it's yeah. caramel apple sucker. Like there's apple in the sucker. <laughs> it's literally sugar that's hard dipped in sugar that's like medium hard, and then you just eat it. <laughs> yeah, and all those flavors. It's great, dude. Flavors, like flavor scientists. Oh my god, I thought about this before too. Like, it's crazy, dude. They've I watched something on it. They've like they can make fear into a flavor. They can they they know how to like emotions. They can create emotions in the flavor. That's fucking Willy Wonka, crazy ass scientist. Imagine tasting something and just being like, oh god. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I don't know. It's like think of eating a ghost pepper level fear. Oh my god, dude. You just be a schizophrenic for three days. <laughs> like, dude, are you all right? Fuck you, man. <laughs> oh, Dave yeah. ate another scary grape. Yep, everyone had to stop taking those because as we all know, everyone ended up killing themselves. So Right. That's that's fucked up. That's crazy, right. man. I didn't know that they could um put emotions into flavors, but I do know that Skittles are all apple flavored. What you, what? Every flavor of Skittle is apple. What about the one that tastes like lemon? They're all apple. Dude, see, this is bullshit. And didn't doesn't like Trick Cereal do this or Fruit Loops do this or something? Some other. I mean, I'm sure like everyone's doing it, dude. Just because you know you associate colors, like you said, when you're eating Popeyes, you're like, I'm eating orange. I'm eating grape because it's purple. That's why Gatorade Popeye. does it right. That's why Ga Gatorade does it right, dude. Just give me that blue, that blue fierce or whatever. That Mountain you. Rush. Yeah, give me some made up name. Don't feed me this bullshit. That's pretty fucking nuts. One of my favorites I, is Yahoo or YooHoo. The chocolate stuff? So that doesn't say chocolate milk on it. It just says chocolate drink. <laughs> it's like chocolate water is what yeah, it man. is. This is going to fuck everything up. I'm just never going to eat anything anymore. Why? Well, now I'm going to think I'm getting punked. Well, do you think that I have any inkling in my brain that I'm eating pumpkin right now? Well, okay, but if it's only made a certain amount every year, I got to. Are they just punking us for a fourth of the year? Yeah. God, dude, fuck everyone. It's like flavor extracts. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. They just drop in. They're like, here's a little bit of this flavor and a little bit of that flavor. That is actually wild. I wonder if we could, uh, maybe we could become alchemists and learn how flavor profiles work. Just make, what would, what would we make? I can't believe you took Tic Tacs as medicine. I, th I thought I had it figured out. I also used to let my dog like lick my face when I had real oh. bad acne. Cause I thought for sure, like I was like, I, I think this could be the cure. <laughs> the dirtiest <laughs> mouth. They have like the dirtiest <laughs> mouth. They lick their assholes and they're like, over here. <laughs> it's time for bed. I used to go when my when my house was out of candy. I would go into my parents' bathroom and I would just eat their tums. I would just <laughs> yeah, that's the one way to do. It. I I actually ate like a full thing of vitamins once as a kid. <laughs> I got I got my stomach, I got my stomach pumped, bro. What the fuck's wrong, dude? That's like you did like a little premature. You were trying to commit kitty suicide. I, I OD'd on my no. They were not Flintstone vitamins. They were like my parents, like whatever fucking vitamins. I probably ate a whole thing of Viagra for all I know. <laughs> Flavored Viagra. I don't remember. I don't remember any of it. My dad just said, "Yeah, like you brought down an empty bottle of like you know whatever it was, and uh, we took you to the hospital. Got your shit pumped." Oh my god, Dave. Yeah. <sighs> You little drug addict. Yeah. Just got to have it. Got to have it. You don't remember getting your stomach pumped? Don't remember any of it. You were just fucking blacked out, dude, on vitamins. Like, I'm pretty sure I was like three. If I had to crawl onto the counter, however old that is, that's how old I was. Oh, so you were barely like coherent. Yeah. Didn't even have any clue. But I did know that I love Flintstone vitamins and I was about to eat that whole fucking thing. Oh, yeah, dude. That's so funny. Also scary. Jesus, Dave. Thoughts from our brains. This one's good this week. I don't know if you knew this, but 50% of 30 is the same thing as 30% of 50. Oh, shit. Why'd you, why'd you change that? I didn't change that, bud. Oh. Well, <laughs> what did it say? 36? It said the wrong number. <laughs> it, it works with any percent. So 40% of 60 is the same thing as 60% of 40. That's crazy. Fucking buck wild, dude. See, it's all this. Have you ever seen like, like you know how we're like taught multiplication and like fractions and stuff? There's like an there's like an American way to do it. Yeah, there's Have like you ever seen Japanese people do it. I've seen new math. Oh, there's new math. And 
basically, if you don't do new math with your kid the way that the teacher has assigned it, which is incorrect math is what it should be called, teacher sends it back and they're like, this is not how you're supposed to do it. Redo the problem. That's kind of creepy. I'm like, fuck you, dude. This is the way I learned and I'm doing all right. I'm alive. Yeah, I know what 17 is. I know what 17 minus 20 is. Three, four, negative three. Negative three. There you go. And I don't I didn't need no new math. I don't need no new math. Fuck, when did they change math? They've been changing That's it. That's a genuine fear of mine now. Yeah, they've been changing it up. Like my nine year old's gonna sit me down one day and like, Daddy. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, I don't know. Yeah, like, the way that I did it was way easier. Fuck, dude. I think the problem that I saw, I can't even remember anymore. It was like 20, it was like if you take 24 times 48, what they want you to do is take 20 times 40 over here, and they want you to take 8 times 4 over here. So 32 plus, you know, 80, and then I think they want you to add them or something. That's how I do it in my head, but I, if on paper, I'm not, I'm going to do it how I. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to freestyle it on the paper. I'm going to draw pictures and shit. I'll just do check marks till I get to 242. Did you ever, uh, and I'm not going to defame your character, but did you ever have an answer to a math test and then have to bullshit the work to try to get to that answer? Dude, one time I got called in in eighth grade. I was cheating on my math tests. <laughs> Because I wasn't listening. And the, the lady, like my parents, they sat down with my parents in the little room. And she brought out my test. And like, so I had like some numbers and scribbles. There were some like divide lines. And then it said like, you know, the answer. And she's like, right. the, okay, but here's the deal. I was cheating. So like most of the answers I was getting wrong because I could only scoop out or scope out a few from the nerd next to me. Yep. So. She was like, I like failed the test, but then she like stopped on the few of them. Were like, well, there's this here. I don't I have no idea how you got this. <laughs> the reason and I'm like cool. about to cry because I'm all like scared and I feel bad and I'm like, fuck, my parents hate me. And then she's like, how did you do this, Luke? And I was like, I remembered that one from the workbook. Um, <laughs> I just have pho photographic memory, so like I remember. <laughs> I, mean, I remember. I remember her face. She looked at me and she's like, okay. <laughs> she could tell like she could tell she already pried too hard she's now made me look like a moron as a nine-year-old yeah she's like, All right, maybe i should pull back on luke here yeah <laughs> so they called you in because they they're like there's a 50 percent. all right there's a 10 percent chance that he is rain man and he just somehow knows how to do this he's <laughs> only there's a 90 percent chance he's cheating we don't know which one it is yet he's only rain man for about three of the 25 problems the other 22 he's he's literally on the spectrum but <laughs> yeah. he could count he could, oh my god he left 23 okay. he left 23 out of the 25 questions blank and he got two right with no word <laughs> so we, <don't... laughs> we got ourselves a genius that's so funny there were kids like that in my class though that would sleep the whole time Come test time, they wake up, they're the first one done, they get 100%. That's fucking annoying. That's really annoying. I loved it, dude. I they, I vote for them. Like, Oh, no, cool. Like, yeah, more power to them, but it's annoying being a simp, and you're like, <laughs> I have to actively pay attention, or else I'm fucked. We have this dumbass teacher who every single, every number 10 on the test, he always made the answer C. And every time, he read, every time he read the test back to us, he would tell the same fucking joke. He's like, get it. Just 10, <laughs> just 10 is C. Wait, what <laughs> so, is the joke? He said, because 10 is C. Like Tennessee. Oh, my God. That's so they all have to sit there every time. I'm like, I fucking know that. that have, you ever been, have you ever been like in a, in a test that's multiple choice that you were you were not prepared for? And you start marking them, and you're like, well, "There's too many Bs." I've yeah. Oh many. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta throw in a C here. Or you the, have to make up a number. Like, like, your calculator will give you an answer, and you just choose the closest one to the one on the count. You're like, "Well, it's it's got to be that then." Yeah. The the class that I gave up on physics, 
I would just multiply and divide the numbers together until I got one of the <laughs> <laughs> just doing no physics. Yeah. No physics. <laughs> You're just doing simple multiplication the whole time until the beep boop beep boop beep boop. All right, there it is. Could you imagine though if you figured out a way to do simple math to get these very complex problems? And you're like, yeah, I just did it like that. And they're like, holy fuck. I'm fucking rain, man. But uh yeah, no, I I have been there many a time. And the like, funny part is you'd finish the test, and if you finished and you got all the answers, like at least you filled in all the answers. I'd always put the test down like I I mean, I'll probably get like a 92. <laughs> you're like, so I wasn't sure. I would sometimes go back, do all the math for the ones I'm not totally sure on, some of the ones I was totally sure on. And then, you know, you get the test back, and the ones that you're totally sure on were all wrong. <laughs> <You know? laughs> or the, I mean, it's all, it's all been said and done, but, like, just, like, tests where you didn't prepare, and, like, the first question, like, the first question's ready hard, and you're like, oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we'll go to number yeah. two. You get like seven questions in. <laughs> you haven't answered one yet. And you're like, well, I got to start. <laughs> I got to start. Why well, are people flipping their pages? What Everyone the else is scribbling away. <laughs> I haven't wrote a single thing down. Or to do the, the quick glance over of the room to see if anybody else is like also confused as hell. And then you, you accidentally make eye contact with the teacher. And you're like, I'm not cheating. I'm, I'm just not cheating. Confused. I'm truly lost. I'm just confused. Dude, it's I not think I was supposed to be in a different room. Is this the correct classroom? <laughs> oh, my God. You got to hear this. Me and Olsen used to be in the same chem class. Okay? I think this okay. is fucking shit. Me and Olsen used to be in the same chem class in high school. And... We had this kid who I made friends with. He was a year younger than us. He was really fucking smart. And what he would do is there would be two different chem tests, right? With different, like the they were the questions were on different parts of the test. So you yep. can next to the guy next to you. So I would sit. How did this happen? I would sit next to someone with Olsen. And he would sit next to this Mark guy. It was something like that. And basically the bit was, the funny thing about it was for the whole year, Olsen was sending me – no, no, that's not right. The whole year, this kid was sending me all the answers. And like, a text during the test? Text me like A, B, C, D. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez. And I would pull out my phone and I'd be like, boom, 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 boom. And then one time – that was it. One time, Olsen was the guy that was has his test, so I didn't have it. So I was like, Olsen, send me, the, send me what Mark texts you, and then I'll send you – what Julie has. So Olsen spends, spends the majority of the time waiting, not taking the test, waiting for the answers to come for me. And he takes even more, more time to get all the, like you have to be like really sneaky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. finally gets them all to me and I, I'm still working on my shit. And then I get his text. So I start writing all my, I get done writing all my stuff. Then I start, I go back to texting him the stuff. And he gets kicked out for looking off someone else's thing, so he never had any time to do any shit. It was something like that. Like he could be such a solid to help me, and then he just gets kicked out of the class because he was cheating. Jesus, it was something like that. I did not do that right, but it was so funny. Be just. I remember something. one time, Huddy and me were in this class, this advertising class, and it was one of those classes where every single person in the class like felt like they're they're they were the the big person on campus because they had an internship and they'd be like, well, I had an internship at Kate Spade and I had an, and all these dumbass internships. So it, it, that's like just setting the stage for what kind of class it was. It was really stupid. Yeah. But you kind of had to do all the bullshit because it was an advertising class and you had to like be an ad student, I guess you like had to like, if you wanted to fit in, you had to be one of them. Right. So how do you and me, like we get to class this was like two weeks in and like, I vaguely remember the teacher talking about this big assignment and it never crossed our mind. I think the night before Huddy and I even checked the, the rubric and we're like, nothing's due. Like we're getting drunk. <laughs> we get to class and like, there's, there's girls like who have uh, flyers with like glitter and ribbons and like all these packets and shit. And we're just looking around the only two idiots in class with nothing to show. 
So we fucking hand it like we we didn't have anything. Everybody hands it in. It was like one of the biggest assignments of the year. Oh god. We had nothing. So then at the end of it, we go up to Stacy was her name, and we're like, Stacy, we dropped the ball. We didn't know it was due today. Uh, can we like have an extension? And she played the card that in the real world you don't get extensions. Yeah, great. And I'm trying to set you up for that. Fucker. So she, uh, she let us do it and get she like instead of getting 50 points, we got like 30 or something stupid. But uh, yeah. just the feeling of like helplessness, like oh god. Well, time's up, and I got nothing. Your life's over. You got to yeah. literally, like, you got to really just t- make a deal with God there, where you're like, "All right, I, just, I fucked up." But I, the, fucked up. I hope I can get out of this. It usually works out. I hope it works out. The, yeah, the amount of time I spent scheming and like, like trying to look at the teacher's answer sheets and like figuring out strategies to, I, I could have just learned the shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> always the saying. That's always the saying. But I also think college part of it, if you're not if you're not hitting the books super hard, you better be networking super hard, and you better be with the people who can help you fucking succeed. Yeah, no, call. Yeah, yeah, I agree. College, I didn't fuck too around too much with cheating. It was too like it was just the stakes were too like you're paying nine grand. For the time. Yeah, it's too expensive to, for me to fuck around and get kicked out of college. Exactly. And it I was- do know people who like like in my fraternity who like literally almost got fucking kicked out of school because like they were caught cheating. Oh God. So they literally I, that's fucked. Yeah. They're at the Dean's off. I'm not shitting you. They're at the Dean's office trying to be like, please, please Dean. <laughs> I won't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a new man. I swear. I had a kid I played basketball with in high school. He, he was like a really smart kid. He like, was in all the classes, all the AP classes, all that bullshit. And he, 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 he what, the SAT, ACT, whatever it is. You go take the college exam. Yeah. He took the exam. He got accepted to Stanford. Wow. So the SAT. And then something came, something happened where they, they, they found out that he was cheating. He cheated on the ACT. So they took it away. Stanford took away his shit. Well, of course they would do that. Like, if you're going to cheat oh, right. the test to get into our school, you're definitely going to cheat while you're in school. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're also, you're also not as smart. Yeah, you might not be the smartest person if you're going to not know the answer. Did you did you ever fuck with the AP stuff? Oh, yeah, dude. I, uh, I don't know how to say this, but I'm kind of fucking smart. I believe you. I know you're smart. Well, I just took AP. The reason I took AP in high school was so that way I wouldn't have to take those classes in college. Right. Same. Correct. So that's that's the reason why I was an AP. But you had to pass the end thing at the end, right, to get the credit. Yeah. So there'd be like some of them. I would. I like. I've passed. I passed probably. I don't know. A couple of them. There was one. I think it was like a AP Chem class or something. Wasn't prepared for it. Didn't. I woke up in the morning. Went to the test at Miller North. And at the end, there was an essay after I just botched multiple choice for an hour and a half. Like, this isn't going well. I just, I just, I just wrote down the lyrics to Till I Collapse on the episode. <laughs> Eminem song. I just wrote as many lyrics as I could. And then I was like, I'm out. It was, I just. Hey, side story English class, high school. Kid in my class, I fucking hated. Somehow gets his poetry put on the fucking wall, which is a big deal. You want to get your poetry put on the wall because that's everyone gets to see it. It's just like you get clout in this English class. That's like you get you get unlimited puss. Yeah, you get all the puss, and you're pretty much the coolest kid in the whole school. You ever. get all that emotional. You get all that emotional artist puss. Right. Fuck. Well, it was, it was Lil Wayne lyrics. It was Lil Wayne lyrics. And he wrote I, Lil Wayne lyrics. Yeah. For like an assignment that he was supposed to write. <laughs> the like, teacher's hey. like real G's move in silence. No, like, the, like, the teacher thought he well then the teacher found out because somebody eventually told him. The teacher found out he was like very taken back and shocked. And I was like, really? You are shocked that he fucking wrote a Lil Wayne song and you're too stupid to fucking wreck it. Like, I don't know. The the teacher dropped the ball on that one. I'm sorry. That kid was not writing Lil Wayne songs. <laughs> okay, but still, <laughs> all of Lil Wayne songs 
Yeah, they're like, you know, like rhyme schemes are good, but like what teacher's reading that like I fucked that bitch in a car. <laughs> I, know, I think it was right a the car, better. bitch. And like, oh hell yeah. And she was like, we a we a we we a we a we like a cop car. That's fucking funny. I'm gonna pick the world up and drop it on your fucking head. Yeah. As I mean, a young Edgar Allan Poe. That's so funny, dude. What so a bad. Fucking shithead. Are we back? We went on a tangent there. Hey guys, buy our shirts. You still listening? Buy our shirts, buy our shirts, buy our shirts, buy our shirts. There uh, it is. Idea of the week. Vote. I went to eat dinner. I only got halfway through the acronym. All right. So very open to everything. Ooh, that is a good one. We're very open to everything. I sat here for 10 minutes and I couldn't think of anything that good. We didn't. We don't, I don't think we have any ideas of the week. <laughs> it like goes in and out. Interesting. That was better though. Why does it do that? What? It was like going in and out. It was a little better than the beginning though. I'm gonna stop it. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thanks for nothing. Actually, <laughs> if you made it this far. Thanks for everything. Thank you. We'll see you next week.